hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have a square root of p square divided by p is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution uh, from first method uh, so in the first method uh, here we need to move this p to the right hand side and you see that <clears throat> this p is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this 2 and after moving this it will become square root of p square is equals to this will become 2 times of p and further in the next step here we need to remove this square root sign so in order to remove this square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring it will be written as p square square root and its whole square is equals to 2p and its whole square further you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and uh, we will get here p square is equals to here we need to uh, apply the square separately on both of these values and it will become 2 square multiplied by p square and in the next step uh, you see here we have uh, in the left hand side is p square is equals to this is 2 square and we know that 2 square is equals to 4 and this is our p square and further in the next step we need to move this p square uh, to the right hand side and this is positive p square when we move it into the right hand side it will become a negative p square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further you see here 4p square minus p square uh, becomes here 3 times of p square is equals to 0. And now here we need to find the values of p so that's why we will divide both of the sides by 3 in order to eliminate this 3 from left hand side. And you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get p square is equals to this is 0 divided by 3 we know that when we divide 0 with any number it will always becomes here 0 so here for the values of this p square is equals to 0 means that we will get here p is equals to 0 and 0 okay so it means that we will get here only one root of the given equation and that is p is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of p is uh, satisfied our given question statement or not or in other words we will check that is this p be the solution or extraneous root for this we will copy down given question statement here the given question statement is p square square root divided by p is equals to 2 this is the our given question statement and here we substitute the value of p is equals to 0 so when we substitute value of p is equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as 0 square and its square root divided by 0 is equals to 2 or not this is the our claim and here you know about that a 0 square uh, means that it will also become 0 and we get a square root of 0 divided by 0 and it is equals to 2 or not this is the our claim Further, we know that a square root of 0 is equals to 0 divided by 0 is equals to 2. Here we focus into the left hand side and you see that this is 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. So if this is indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined. So if uh, this is undefined uh, so it means that both of the sides are not equal uh, and if both of the sides are not equal then uh, we conclude about p is equals to 0 is that p is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation 
So here I can just explain the term extraneous root. So the root which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root. And here you see that clearly p is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement. So we call this is the extraneous root. And here further uh, we again solve this problem. So here uh, we conclude about the solution set of this question is that uh, this question has no solution because we cannot get any other value of p. Okay. So it means that we, we get only one value of p that is p is equals to 0 and it cannot satisfy our given question statement. So finally we conclude about that this question has no solution. And now we move towards the second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of p square divided by p is equals to 2 this is the our given question statement and uh, in the second method uh, here uh, we just focused uh, into the left hand side here i can just uh, give the direct solution of this problem and here you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here p divided by p is equals to 2 and you see here this p is also cancelled out by this p and we will get here 1 is equals to 2 so you know about that 1 is not equals to 2 in general uh, so it means that uh, if we cannot get any value of p so if we cannot get any value of p so this means that uh, this question has no solution because here we cannot get any value of p okay so mm, the final conclusion about both of these methods is that uh, both of these methods tells us that this question has no solution so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos